you have to actually start the software through Avid Link and then hit open. So I'm going to use Pro Tools first. Now, I was immediately prompted to log in to my Avid account and you will have to log in using your credentials. If this is your first boot, it will take a little bit of time. It has to create a database. After that, it often will start quicker. So just be aware of that. Uh, notice I am signed in right here. Uh, there's an online server where you could store stuff on their cloud. You don't have to do that. You can uncheck this back up to cloud button and just have it on your computer. And then you need to title your piece, of course. So I'm just gonna title line Pro Tools Mix Waddell. Uh, we are going to create from scratch here. So I would hit create if you're uh, using an audio interface, that's the better way to go. Pro Tools likes to look for audio interfaces and find them. So make sure that's plugged in and ready to go beforehand. If you're not using an audio interface or have any way to get to one, then the ASIO for all driver is the way to go. And here is the AS, uh, ASIO for all.org website. And that is the low latency driver that you can use. You would download that. Basically, it is like an emulator in a way. Uh, it's like an internal audio interface if you want to think of it that way. Now I'm going to hit create. I'm in. Once I into the session there's a few things we can do probably one of the best things to do is go ahead and import your track i like the drag and drop method so i'm gonna go do that now okay so here i am I've, i'm into my unzipped folder of my files here they are right here and what i want to do is basically uh, get my files into Pro Tools. So there's a few ways to do it. As far as bringing these in, you could just hold shift, select them all. A couple things you could do. One, you can drag them in right into the edit window and let go and give it a second. It's going to build them all. The other thing you can do is drop them in over here on the left side. Okay, this is a good time while they're loading up. I want to go up here to set up and, and just look at my playback engine here. So, so this is your audio interface. They call it the playback engine. And I um, have several choices. There's that ASO for all driver. I have this interface hooked up right now. As far as outputs, I do have a couple options. So you may only have one there. And so you can optimize for recording or playback. Right now, I'm at 48 kilohertz, which is fine. It's okay to be higher than what the project was. And I want to just say, okay. The other thing you can do is this. There is a mix window, and I recommend you get used to the shortcut. The mix window to get to it is control plus. That might be something you should practice right now is just hitting control plus. There it is. There's the mix window, all the channel faders. Control plus. There you go. If you have two monitors, you can drag that window to another uh, screen. That's an important quick thing to know how to do. This is going to look very similar to every other DAW. Let's start with markers. Please check out our next video on markers, color coding, and organization in Pro Tools.